hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you using stored procedure how to get the last inserted record ID from a remote database of my little admin for SQL server the code I am using C sharp right now I am in my designing part which contains two text boxes one button control and one little control let's check the designing part how it looks on the browser start debugging And here is the output of the designing part. And right now I am in the local host. Let's flip back to the Visual Studio designing part. Right click, view code. And before writing the coding part, let's log into my GoDaddy SQL Server of my little admin. And we will check the tables and the column names. I am signing to my GoDaddy account. Sign in. After I log into my little admin for SQL Server, go to databases. Here in the user databases, I am expanding. I am expanding the user database. Click tables. For the demo purpose, I am using the EMP table. EMP, open table. And notice here this EMP table contains some data. And the ID field contains up to 22. When I insert new record, that newly inserted record ID should be displayed on the literal control on the browser. I am using stored procedure to insert the records. To create stored procedures tools, click new query. Now the stored procedure, create procedure and the procedure name for remote database, we have to give the dbo dot get last id is my procedure name i'm declaring the variables the first column is the employee name copy it employee name varchar 255 at and the second variable is and the second column is the occupation copy it occupation varchar 255 after that now we need the output variable which is my auto increment column id int int output as begin insert into emp table which takes two parameters so one is the employee name And the other one is the occupation values at employee name comma at occupation set at id is equals to as I told you, I am using double at the rate identity property, which I am declaring here. Identity property return this output at the rate id. And I am ending the stored procedure. Click submit. Let's go to databases user databases my host and servers click programmability store procedures notice here this is our store procedure we have created let's get back to the c sharp coding and we'll access this store procedure to insert the values the first thing we need to add the namespaces using system dot data using system configuration using system dot data dot sql client after adding the namespaces now we need the button click event let's go to the designing part 
double click the submit button now we got here the button click event string main connection is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings which is my database this is my database connection dot connection string sql connection sql con is equals to new sql connection which takes the parameter of the main connection main connection sql con dot i'm opening the connection here sql command sql com is equals to new sql command which takes two parameters one is my stored procedure name sorry here and here is my stored procedure name which is get lost id this is my stored procedure name and the sql connection object sql command dot command type is equals to command type dot which is to procedure sql command dot parameters dot add with value one is my the table column name which is the employee name and the text box is text name dot text sql command dot parameters dot add with value which takes two parameters the first parameter is the second column name which is the occupation and the text box column id which is text email here the text email uh, yeah instead of text email i am writing the text occupation copy this text occupation dot text after inserting these two we need the return type for that sql command at parameters dot add with value the same as it is which takes the parameter of my auto increment column here id SQL, sql db type dot type is int dot the direction the direction is the output is the parameter direction dot output sql command dot execute non query let's declare last id is equals to sql command dot parameters at id dot value dot to string to string method uh, close the connection string literal message text is equals to you have entered the value of new column id is last id this id column that's it i'm build the project build solution build succeeded
Now it's time to upload this .aspx page into my remote hosting server. After that, we will insert the values from my real domain. I just open the FileZilla client to transform my local site files into remote site. And here it is, I just connected to my remote site. And the folder is GoDaddy blog GoDaddy blog GoDaddy the last insert record enter here the all files have been successfully transferred now on the browser my domain name is hostandservers.com slash blog slash godaddy slash and this is a file name enter so before inserting the new values let's go back to my database we will check what was the last inserted value the last id of the emp table is 22 so when i enter new record and the new inserted record will be 23 let's enter the values employee name is is Kumar the occupation is a SEO analyst click submit see here you have entered the values of new column ID is 23 let's go to my database we will refresh this page here the 22 23 employee name Kumar and occupation is the SEO analyst that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos